Welcome. My name is Dennis Pope. I'm president of PowerFlow LLC. We're here today to introduce you to the PowerFlow Hydrokinetic Portable Power Plant. We are in the Fluid Dynamics Lab where we did most of the testing and design of the PowerFlow system. The inventor of the portable power plant was John Willingham. John had an idea back in 1971 that he could have a ecologically responsible and sustainable and economically valuable electrical generation system. And that evolved into the PowerFlow portable power plant system. Assisting me today will be uh, Dr. John Hochstein, Rob Tucker, and Dr. Jeff Wallace, who will each discuss their portions of the research and development of the portable power plant. I'm John Hochstein. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering and vice president for research and development at PowerFlow. I'd like to take just a moment to give you some of the basic physical principles on which our machine works. Without going into the details, every fluid in motion has kinetic energy. Our goal is to capture that kinetic energy and make electrical power. Again, without going into details, the faster the fluid is moving, the more the kinetic energy. In fact, it's proportional to the velocity cubed. If you double the velocity, you get eight times as much power. If you triple the velocity, you get almost 30 times as much power. We've taken that into account, and the result is our design with three modules. The power flow platform has an inlet accelerator module, a power capture module, and a deceleration exit module. Each serves a function, and each must work in concert with the others to build an efficient machine. The inlet module accelerates the flow, the power wheel in the capture module converts that mechanical energy into a rotation that drives an electrical generator and the exit module slows the flow to reduce the back pressure at exit. After more than 12 different configurations, each an improvement upon the one before it, we've seen substantial increases in the amount of power we can produce. We've used dynamic scaling laws to take the information acquired through the experiments to predict that a full-scale power flow platform placed in the Mississippi River at Memphis, Tennessee can produce as much as two megawatts of power, enough to power about 2,000 homes. To give you an idea of just how much power that is, you would have to burn more than 17 million pounds of coal to provide power for those homes for just one year. I'm Rob Tucker, Vice President of Engineering for PowerFlow. Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how the PowerFlow system came about and how it works. Uh, as we know, water wheels have been around for centuries. These water wheels were powered by the weight of water in a pocket on the wheel. This is known as potential energy conversion and basically works the same way a dam works. A dam uses the potential energy of water raised to a height to produce pressure to turn a turbine. What makes the power flow different? The objective is to extract the energy from moving water without first bringing it to a stop in a reservoir. The patent pending power flow system captures the flow energy with a unique power wheel design and uses a channelization system to increase the water velocity before entering the wheel and to decrease the velocity after leaving the wheel. The video shows the latest configuration in action. The power produced depends on how fast the power wheel rotates. In the video, you can see a weight being lifted by a winch system mechanically connected to the power wheel. Increasing the weight to be lifted decreases the rate of power wheel rotation. We therefore lift a variety of weights to determine the rotational speed that maximizes the efficiency of energy capture and therefore power production. Why has the PowerFlow team worked so hard on this project? The two basic reasons, environmental and economic. We all need good quality air and drinkable water. We've learned that conventional electrical power production technologies pose a threat to both. The invention and deployment of efficient, sustainable energy technologies hold the promise 
a plentiful electricity that is more environmentally friendly than existing technologies. Since World War II, every major recession has been coupled with a jump in the price of petroleum. Invention and deployment of efficient electrical power strengthens our nation's economy, lessens the influence of international politics and economics on our nation's economy, and creates new jobs. If deployed internationally, it provides those same benefits in any country. To provide a significant and lasting improvement for our environment and our economy, new sustainable energy production systems must be eco-friendly and economically viable. In short, the Power Flow team feels that the Power Flow approach is the best approach available. The Power Flow is environmentally benign. It harms neither water nor wildlife. It has zero pollution in operation. The Power Flow provides power on a 24-7, 365 basis. It's simple and easily maintainable. It can be deployed worldwide. It's portable. It is quick to build and deploy. It can be used in rivers and tidal flows. It can be deployed and used for any purpose that requires electricity. It can provide utility scale base load power. It has zero fuel cost. It has zero carbon footprint. It does not require subsidies for economic viability. It does not distort other markets, especially food. And it does not remove land from other productive uses or tax rolls. It's the answer. My name is Jeff Wallace. I have a PhD in economics. In economics, one of the things that we're interested in finding out is, is there a better way of doing things? When it comes to green energy sources, what we have seen to date perhaps is not the best way of doing things because while there are many very beneficial green technologies that are very good ecologically, most of them tend to fail when it comes to the economics. And this is one of the factors that attracted me to power flow to the group as a whole, is that not only does this technology work environmentally, but it also works economically. In fact, when you compare cost, our next cost uh, competitor would be small-scale energy producers, and this would include photovoltaic or solar sources. It includes wind sources, such as wind turbines. And we are about 68% less on a cost basis per kilowatt hour. So the long and short of it is this. Does it make financial sense? Does it make economic sense? I know those of you watching this, that's probably one of your number one questions. Will this make money for us? And the answer is yes, without a doubt. Take a look at the numbers that we have provided in the spreadsheets. I think you'll see for yourself and you will make money with this technology. My name is Clay Templeton. I'm the son-in-law of the late John Willingham. And I personally want to thank you for your time and consideration in PowerFlow. We are presenting you with a unique opportunity to, to invest in cutting edge green technology. We appreciate your consideration and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.